Okay, so here's an example of my first experiment with uh, the Raspberry Pi, um, and particularly in uh, controlling the GPIO outputs. Here we have a piece of breadboard uh, wired up with a series of eight uh, red LEDs, um, just basically what I had to hand. Um, there's, uh, they're connected in line with uh, some 470 ohm resistors. Um, I don't yet know why they're 470 ohm, but I uh, found that in uh, the magazine, so uh, it seemed to work. I thought I'd give it a go. Uh, wires there are connected through to the uh, GPIO outputs on the uh, Raspberry Pi board itself, and then uh, all the LEDs share a common ground, uh, which again is going back to the Raspberry Pi. There's the Raspberry Pi. Um, simple setup, really. Uh, we've got the power in on uh, the right-hand side over here. Uh, it's just an old phone charger. Uh, we've got a HDMI connection going to uh, this monitor here, uh, which you can see if I just zoom out slightly. Um, not using that at the moment. Um, and then we've got an Ethernet connection here uh, going into my home network uh, that I'm using uh, just to SSH into the Pi itself. Over here we've got uh, my Mac laptop, uh, sat in a terminal window, um, not doing an awful lot at the moment, but if uh, we fire up this command here, uh, sudo uh, dot LED test, um, you'll see it starts counting as a binary counter, counting 0 through to 255. Back over at the breadboard, uh, we can see the LEDs are indeed uh, acting as a binary counter. Um, doesn't do anything particularly useful. A uh, bit of an experiment in um, uh, writing some C. I haven't written any of that in about 15 years or so. Um, so that was a bit of a learning curve. And uh, getting the LEDs to uh, light up in response to uh, the binary number being given to it. And you can see it uh, seems to be working quite well there. Um, that'll get up to about 255 and then the program will stop. Uh, back on the screen, you can see the numbers just ticking down there. 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52. There we go. Um, I won't bore you with uh, letting that count up, but uh, as you can see, it seems to be working okay. Um, I'll put more details of the code that I've used uh, and uh, an electronic schematic, if I can come up with one, um, on my blog at www.cpmills.com.